This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to the show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. I am Joey Massio. I was a middle school teacher for seven years, and now I run Sidekick to Hero, a coaching business that helps teens with confidence, social skills, and goals. Today, I want to teach you a powerful tool that changed my life in many ways, uh, but especially as a teacher. So the tool is called the model because it's how you model your thinking in order to get the most power uh, in your life. And I've, I've used it myself. My wife uh, have, has used it. Um, the teens that I work with, they use it all the time. This is the main tool that I use and it's amazing. It's based in cognitive behavioral therapy. It was developed by master life coach Brooke Castillo, uh, made famous by Jody Moore, at least in, in my area. She's the one who taught it to me. And it is incredibly useful. Here it goes. It's five words long. Circumstances, thoughts, feelings, actions, results. In that order. So what the model says is that our circumstances are things that are outside of us. These are the things we cannot generally change in the moment, which is why they're a problem. And those are just facts, neutral facts. Circumstances trigger our thoughts. And the thoughts that we have are where our feelings come from. And the feelings we feel drive our actions and the actions we take or what give us our results. So quite often when I'm working with a client, uh, I work with teen clients, occasionally adult clients, but it, it's always the same, no matter how old they are. They'll come up and they'll say something along the lines of, well, I, I have this problem. And they'll present their problem and their problem will always be a thought they have about a circumstance. Something along the lines of, I do not have enough time to do all my homework. That would be the, the, the circumstance would be they have homework and their thought is I don't have enough time, which then makes them feel overwhelmed. And when they're overwhelmed, they don't start their homework. They spend more time on YouTube and TikTok avoiding the feelings. And then they don't use their time wisely and hit the rush at the last minute. For a teacher, it might look something like this. I have a, a problem with little Johnny in my third period class, and he is disrespectful. Now, that right there seems like the facts of the situation. Johnny in third period is being disrespectful, disrespectful. But the model says you need to separate out your thoughts or any opinions you have, no matter how many people agree with your opinions, you need to separate those out from the facts. So the facts in this situation would be you have a student named Johnny in your third period class. Your thought is he's being disrespectful. And, and maybe the fact would be he got up out of his seat after you told him not to three times, for example. That, that would be the fact. Whatever people could see and observe a jury would agree on, yep, he got out of his seat. We saw the playback of the tape. Yep, that, those are the facts. But your thought is he's being disrespectful. And chances are you really, really, really believe your thought. And if that thought is unhelpful to you, it's causing you unpleasant feelings, which are leading you to actions that are actions you'd rather not take and giving you results of not enjoying third period as much, not feeling in control of class, then that thought needs to be changed. I mean, I guess it doesn't need to be changed. You can keep it if you'd like, but if you want change, then that's where you start is with that thought that Johnny is being disrespectful. This works for colleagues. If you have the, uh, a teacher who you don't get along with, or if you have an admin you don't get along with, or if you're an admin who has a teacher you don't get along with, Whatever they do, separate out the facts. Just what are the facts, the neutral facts of the situation? 
and then identify what thoughts you are choosing to think about those facts. No matter how many people agree with you, I don't care if you take a vote of all the teachers at school and they all say, yep, no, Johnny is disrespectful. I don't care. It's still a thought. And thoughts can be changed. Thoughts are optional. And I suggest you do change them, especially if those thoughts are not helping you. Now, in this situation, I don't know what you can change it to because I can suggest a thought like Johnny needs extra love or he doesn't know how to get attention, but he wants attention and this is a way about going about it. And maybe I just need to build a better connection with Johnny. Those thoughts might work for me, but they might not work for you. So do some work, take some time to create a thought about the circumstance that will allow you to feel better. And then that feeling will fuel different actions that will allow you to get different results without changing the circumstances, the other person. That is the most powerful thing that I have ever learned in my life. I use it every day. I use it with my clients and personally, and I, uh, I challenge you to use that in your life right now with a circumstance. It could be a person, it could be a career, things, whatever it is. I challenge you to use the model to help you get more power back in your life. Thanks for listening. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bepodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.